Hey, so here's that poem that I promised you on Monday about everything changing, about your life changing. Not, I, hold on, here, we'll get to it. Good morning, lovely people of the planet. This is Jeff O. This is the Morning Ride Pedal Powered Podcast. I don't know nothing. I'm just a dude on a bicycle riding into the office this morning, discussing with you about how I'm trying to evolve as a filmmaker, poet, and human being. I don't know what they're checking out. I hope everything's all right. The bicycle police in this town are actually awfully cool. I've seen them at uh, BBP a few times too. Helping out, letting the kids know that the police are there to provide safety, which is what they do. So thanks you guys. Anyway, I tried to recite a poem on Monday when I talked about everything changed because the temperature dropped and it got cold here. And, uh, and I was reminded about a poem from the Ocean Vuong book that I was telling you about. Um, <laughs> then I've lost the title again. It ends with Exit Wounds. Night Sky with Exit Wounds. Fantastic book of poems. If you're looking for a new collection, new poet, I highly recommend checking out Ocean Vuong. But he has a, has a poem that I was telling you about called Torso and Air, which I believe kind of as a callback, in a way, to the Rilke poem, Archaic Torso of Apollo, which I wanted to recite for you on Monday, but it was too cold to have my phone out, and I didn't have uh, notes taped to my handlebars like I do at times. Got to figure that out for the winter. wonder why we don't have a lot of chaga mushrooms on the birch along the river here. Man, look at this morning. Do you believe this? Well, all right. So here is Rainer Maria Rilke's. Oh, good grief, Jeffrey. Archaic Torso of Apollo. We cannot know his legendary head with eyes gleaming with, for crying out loud. Let's start over again. Let's do, let's real, let's read the real words. Maybe we'll, we'll slow down a little bit here. We cannot know his legendary head with eyes like ripening fruit, and yet his torso is still suffused with brilliance from inside, like a lamp in which his gaze, now turned too low, gleams in all its power. Otherwise, the curved breast could not dazzle you so, nor could a smile run through the placid hips and thighs to that dark center where procreation flared. Otherwise, this stone would seem defaced beneath the translucent cascade of the shoulders and would not glisten like a wild beast fur, would not from all borders of itself burst like a star, for here there is no place that does not see you. You must change your life. Man, I remember the first time I heard that poem, in graduate school and it was it wasn't as so the the poem wasn't as powerful as the art experience that Rilke is talking about having seen the statue for me but it was powerful in art's ability to comment on art and to kind of um, make an argument that art is important and that um, it is vital to us that art can change our lives because Art does make us look at ourselves, and uh, and that's kind of cool because I've been doing a lot of looking at myself as I'm trying to write this feature film, and uh, and it's it's tough, you know, and it's tough to keep going. It's tough to think, well, can I do it? And the thing is, just in the doing. And so, uh, if you love riding a bicycle, <clears throat> excuse me. Get out on a bicycle, because bicycling is about being on a bike. Just like writing a film is about writing a film, 
shooting photos is about shooting photos. The thing is the thing, and nothing else is the thing. So if you love riding a bicycle, get out on a bicycle. I hope that this weekend you have a moment to, to be engaged with your ride, whatever your ride is. I also hope that maybe you, you're able to run into some art, some thing, some nature, something that inspires you, something that causes you to look at yourself a little maybe. I mean, that's what I'm hoping for for me. <laughs> Please don't take that as preaching here. This is what I am looking for. I am looking for something that's gonna make me look at myself differently, cause me to uh, change my life. Because uh, it's the only ride we get. And uh, <laughs> let's not waste our time being just the same old stupid. Let's find new ways of stupid. <laughs> that's such a depressing ending. Folks, have a great weekend. <laughs>